Hey, my name is Todd Huber, and we're standing here inside the storage of the Skateboarding Hall of Fame Museum. We were the very first skateboarding museum in the world. We've been open since 1997. We're here in Simi Valley, which is roughly between LA, California and Santa Barbara, California. You know, we collect everything skateboarding. Behind me is just duplicates. It didn't make sense for us to hang up all the duplicates, so we just hung up the best ones that we had. And so what's back here is just our extras. We collect not only skateboards, anything memorabilia, safety gear, shoes, clothing items, record albums, anything that has to do with skateboarding or the history or the culture of skateboarding. Like I'll just use Hot Wheels as an example. You can definitely collect every Hot Wheel. There's every one, there's every variation, there's every single one. But with skateboards, a lot of them are homemade. So there is no possible way for one person to get every single board. So it's a real addictive collection for me, and knowing that it just never ends. You can, no matter what you get or how many you get, there's still more and there's still ones you've never seen before. And every time I see a board I've never seen before, it's, it's exciting to me. I mean. After being a collector for over 30 years, if there's a board I haven't seen, I consider it pretty rare. Just a fan. People always say, are you a historian? No, I mean, I'm a curator of a museum, but that doesn't make the expert. I'm just a fan. I just, I just enjoy skateboarding. It's always been a good outlet for me as a lifelong skateboarder. So when people ask me what my sort of position in the world of skateboarding is, I'm just a fan. I think that's okay. I think without the fans, you know, there would be no rock stars if there wasn't fans, right? So I like to sort of honor the, the, the rock stars of skateboarding by being a, a nerd, a skate nerd fan. And that, that's what got me here. And this is our storage, just extras. In the museum, it didn't make sense to put five of one model. So if we had five of one model, we put the best one out there and the other four are back here. It's just storage. Uh, from the 1960s, 70s, some of the more rare stuffs up top, uh, some of the stuff that belonged to pros back in the day. So what is this? I don't know. I just pulled it out. Somebody gave it to me. I was like, well, I wonder where that came from. I, to be honest, I lost track of, of, of it at some point. It's just too overwhelming for me. It's just too much stuff. I, and I come in here and I pull stuff out, it doesn't get put back properly. And... You know, that's Valsurf. Valsurf was the very first store in the world that sold skateboards. And we're still in business. That's pretty neat. Jason Catalano, freestyle board. Fantasy skateboard. Crazy stuff. I don't know. A lot of this stuff I just truly forgot about. I like them. I like them original. I'm not a, I'm not a restorer, a restorer guy. You know what I mean? Like, I would rather have it like this with a beautiful original patina than some, some repainted one. You know? They, they always say it's only original once. That's with anything. Skateboards, bicycles. Like, I don't own anything that's restored. That's just not, my, it's not me. Well, I, like, I like it the way, it's the way you found it. Even if it's completely roached. You know, like. Even if it's just complete shit. Yeah, like, I mean, these boards are from the Soviet Union, but they're, they're, the wheels always exploded. And like, you just didn't have a choice. And like, they're made out of like, it's like gooey. And like, it's just, they're different. Like, the bearings and stuff, they're, they're crazy. So, yeah, these are all my Soviet boards. I have eight of them, and I'm getting ready to send some back to the, the skate museum in Minsk and, uh, he was asking me what I already had because he was going to send me some more and not to duplicate them. So I pulled them out to show him what I had. And he's asking me, what are you going to send me? So it's hard for me to give it up. I don't really want to give him anything, but um, I'm, I'm going to because he, this stuff's really rare. <laughs> 